The codable protocol makes it trivial to decode flat data. That means a single instance of a type, for example, or arrays and dictionaries of those instances. However, in this project, we want to work with more complex JSON. We want to have an array of arrays, for example, with each type being something different. Now, if you want to decode this kind of hierarchical data, the key is to make separate types for each object in your hierarchy, each level you're working with. And as long as the data you're given matches the hierarchy you defined, you're done. Codable will do all the work for you with no further input. To demonstrate this, put this button into your content view. Well, there's a button with a title decode JSON. Inside here, I'll hard code some example JSON. I'll say our input is a multi-line string, like this, with a dictionary inside it, then a name key set to Taylor Swift. Then we'll say as an address key, and this hasn't got a string value, it's got its own dictionary inside it, like this, and that will have the street address of uh, that well-known address 555 Taylor Swift Avenue, it's exactly where she lives, I'm sure, uh, in city will be Nashville, and end the address dictionary here, then end the uh, main dictionary here, and I'll just push this whole thing in so Swift doesn't get angry at me when I make a multi-line string. So uh, this makes JSON by hand, which you generally don't want to do. You want to do it as a separate file, otherwise it's very, very hard to work with. Um, but here it's great for testing. Uh, we have a name string, an address dictionary that has a, a street string and a city string. Um, if you aren't familiar with how JSON works, it's probably easier to see the Swift structs that match it. Uh, and so uh, we'll make those now. There is a struct called user that is codable with a name string and an address. And this is going to be its own type called address. We'll say as a struct address that is codable. This has a street string and a city string like that. Hopefully you can now see how our JSON decodes in the Swift structs because name matches name down here. Address matches address down here. There's its own object type. So it looks for address and we'll use street here to match here, sorry, here and city to match here. Now for the best part, we can convert this JSON into a data type, which is what uh, JSON decoder actually wants, a data object type then decode that into a user instance, including the address all in one go. We can say let data equals a data of input.utf8. And now if let user equals, scroll down a little bit, uh, try JSON decoder dot decode a user dot self from our data. If we can read a user from that text, then we'll print out the user address dot street like that. Let's run the code back. And hopefully when I press this button, we should see information being printed. There we go. It's found 555 Taylor Swift Avenue. Again, not her real address. Now there is no limit to the number of levels Codable can just dig through. All that matters is the structs you define here must match your JSON string.